Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on graphing in economic series, we will solve a situational question. Uh, the question is draw a perfectly competitive market at equilibrium. Show the impact of a per unit tax on this market. Mark the price consumers pay, producers receive and quantity after the tax. Share the dead weight loss, the tax revenue resulting from the tax. So uh, we have to grab this situation. First of all, we will start by drawing a properly labeled market at equilibrium. So first step is we draw the usual demand and supply curves. This is our Q quantity axis. This is our price axis. We draw the usual demand and supply curves and we mark the equilibrium quantity that's QE and equilibrium price let us say this is p e so this is the first um, step that is we uh, we uh, draw the usual demand and supply curves and their intersection gives us the equilibrium quantity and equilibrium price now we have to see the effect of impact of a per unit tax so uh, the tax shifts the supply curve to the left by imposing a per unit tax the supply curve will shift to shift uh, to the left let us say this uh, shift us to this s1 okay so after imposing uh, the per unit tax the supply curve will uh, shift to the s1 so the new price charge it will be that is pc pc will be the new price charge after the tax okay after that uh, we draw a vertical line the length of the text between s and d so we draw a vertical line here uh, the length of the text actually so this is the vertical line which we draw okay uh, and here uh, we draw it below to the q t so I repeat, we draw uh, a vertical line, the length of the text between supply and demand. Okay, we mark uh, the text quantity that is uh, quantity demanded and quantity supplied with text below. So we uh, write this as QT. Now. PC uh, is the new price charged okay now here and uh, this let us say this is here PP P subscript P this uh, PP is the price producers get after paying the tax okay so this PP will be the um, price uh, price uh, received by the producers after paying this very amount of tax this and uh, this rectangular box now to find the dead weight loss to find the dead weight loss we get the demand uh, uh, demand and supply point is here on this line and uh, we find the allocatively efficient point which is the equilibrium point actually so these three points gives us uh, the dead weight lost that is these three points give us the so i will share this out so this is our dead weight lost which is formed by the three points the first is the this very uh, point the demand and this supply point on the quantity uh, demanded after the tax these two points this point and this point and the allocatively efficient point which is the which was the equilibrium point those three points create the dead weight loss now the tax revenue is the box formed uh, from uh, the tax that is between PC and P the difference between PC and P and between supply and demand at uh, equilibrium at the quantity uh, after the tax so this box 
uh, is the gives us the tax revenue so this is our tax revenue revenue so here we can see consumers will pay uh, pay the price pc producers will receive pp after uh, uh, paying this very amount of tax this very uh, this box of tax and here we can see this will be then the consumer surplus this uh, upper rectangle will be the consumer surplus and this uh, this very rectangle will be the sorry this very triangle will be the producers surplus this is how we um, graph out this situation okay this was not necessary to draw this supply curve so for the sake of simplicity i have um, drawn this supply curve okay, i hope i make myself clear thank you